Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. We're in chapter seven. We're gonna try to find the bookseller. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Hmm. Too bad you guys haven't realized yet in this era that Freud's full of shit. Hey, progression for medicine. Okay, so this is actually a big point I wanna make early in the video. A lot of people pointing this out. For some reason, um, occultism and medicine, when you gain points, you don't actually gain CP, even though it says three CP needed before next level, you actually gain percentage points. So just forget the fact that all the other skills are done on a point basis and not a percentage basis. Occultism and medicine are done on percentage. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Ooh, let's read it. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. What an idiot. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Can't wait to find out what happens to Captain Dumbass over there. Is he dead? History of Darkwater, Volume 2. A Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wickwood. Oh, the Reverend, yeah. Settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. <laughs> Very creative name. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. Not the grocery store, or the school, or like <laughs> anything that like you would actually need to live and survive there. First we gotta build a mansion, a church, and a place to bury all the dead bodies because they're not getting anything to eat. Or they're not learning anything. They're just dying. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left uh, spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors they disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Nice. Oh. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 3. We get it, it's about medical knowledge. So we should have gained a percentage from that. So we gained 2% from that, which is equal to one CP. Actually, I completely forgot to do this. Let's, ooh, leveled up investigation. Now we got everything important at four out of five, except for psychology. I think I've made it pretty clear I don't care about strength. Handbook on Anatomy and Dissection, Book 2. Focuses on healing surgery, specific to malformations and motor disorders. We're getting so much progression, guys. Love it. What? Would you read the book? W what is it? Yeah, I guess. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Cthulhu will remember that. So this is the first volume of what we read in... Irene's house. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I'd never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical uh, illustrations. Nice. I got some occultism though. <laughs> you got a neck, bro? What's going on? Chin to sternum, huh? History of Darkwater, Volume 4. In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak, in the rest of the, of the world... Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding Darkwater. We've already heard about this many times. This phenomenon appeared even more mysterious because up till then, the region was a favored refuge for cetaceans. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Scylla returns to the port with a gigantic creature on board, the Miraculous Catch. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast upon the whaling ship. So it's just, it's just more about the mysterious catch. Or miraculous catch, not mysterious. My spot hidden isn't going off at all. Which is a little annoying, because I leveled it up to four. What happened here? And so far, I haven't been able to, like, actually use it. Um, oh, there's a safe behind here. 
But I guess we'll reconstruct first before we go back there. Handbook on anatomy and dissection. Nice. You have to have a strong heart or the detachment proper to doctors to consult its pages. Well, happy to report that uh, our medicine is uh, it's two out of five. So we're still an amateur. Maybe we're not ready for its content yet. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Wait, who? Blood. Seems like amateur work. I mean, it's about as amateur as you can get to smash a window and open it from the inside, but very effective. I don't think we should judge them just yet. Ooh. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. <laughs> Only men can be tall. Let's see. Let's keep looking. Ah, medicine. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Uh, my medical knowledge told me that. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to what look at. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? So they left a crowbar. What killed all these animals? Oh, that's a lot of dead rats. I didn't even notice that. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? The elder sign? What the? Charles Hawkins? <gasps> Oh, that's cool. Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins painting possess? What is that? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Was it the Necronomicon? You want me to look at it again? Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Okay, so we've reconstructed. Interesting, new objective. Open the safe. Wow. Dead roaches, dead rats? What's over here, though? Mm. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Asshole. A page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following messages of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Okay. Let's move on, you pretentious fuck. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If I chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content to, to the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that's far too dangerous for it to fall in the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your from you actions. What a genius. I will not suffer from you actions. Wow, the genius himself. Okay. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Seriously? <laughs> We're finding them literally everywhere. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Key of Relia file. I don't know how to pronounce it. This key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. 
Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the day of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips off to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the troopers for the artifact. Try to find it. Okay. Wow. Charles Hawkins. He is into some kinky shit. Oh my god. What? Arkham editions. Never heard of him. Azathoth and other horrors. You know, at the end of the last video, I was like, we're probably going to have to read a lot in this chapter. Holy crap. I'm just going to click on all of them and then look at them in my clues. Another tab. volume by Arkham Editions. Because there's like a million. Arkham Editions. Hmm. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Okay, so that's cylinders two and three. Hmm. Okay, so there's still one that we got to find. A kind of chalice. The goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. So the rubies and sapphires make up a, a specific motif. There's also emeralds. Actually, emeralds are sapphires, John. Okay. Oh, I have cylinder one, two, and three. Oh, okay. Well, let's listen to them then. Yeah. Listen to it. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. What? <laughs> this is talking about the goblet, right? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Okay. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. All right. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. The books, right? Volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay. So, the first one has to do with the goblet. The Chalice of Knowledge. He, he mentioned the rubies. So there are only four rubies. And then here, excuse me, here there are only three white pieces, besides the queen, of course, to defend her against the the black pieces. So is it four, then three? <laughs> Surely not. And then he said that the ninth volume, which is this one. Drake talked about a particular volume. Yeah, he talked about this one, Azathoth and Other Horrors. He said it was particularly prevalent to his research, and he never tired of browsing it. Derby was only 18 years old. That's the only number in here. I mean, could it just be nine? Three, four. I'm going to be mad if it's four, three, nine. If it's some sort of combination like that. I think it might be. Are there five rubies? There were five, not four. <sighs> so what is this book? It's the Eye of Sauron! <laughs> a 
Okay. What? I got an achievement. The book. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin. The Necronomicon. It was the Necronomicon. I was kind of joking. But okay. Lied inside, irresistibly attracted to the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. We're back at the Riverside Institute? No! Enter the madness. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What? What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. We're playing as Dr. He, Colden. He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be a doctor, but I've only got two out of five medicine. Let's examine the patient. Very well. I'll examine him. I'll examine him with my two out of five medical eye. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His That's... fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Okay, that was a lot more astute than I initially thought. What's this? An unknown medicine. Damn. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Let's not use it. And there's sleeping pills, because of course there, there are. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Gesundheit. This smell. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Uh, he has something in his belly. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, mm -hmm. he seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. He's a fish man. I took a couple of videos off from constantly accusing characters of being fishmen, but I think it's the case here. He has something in his belly. Odd. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Duh. Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> It's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. <laughs> Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. What? I'm shocked. Really? Dr. Fuller not being completely honest. Have you guys ever seen Junior with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he gets pregnant? It's a real movie, by the way, if you didn't know. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I have to, huh? 
His body is mutating. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Your beady little eyes. Fucking cue ball piece of shit. All right. These symptoms are worrisome. I've never seen anything like this. You're turning him into a monster. These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. You guys are obsessed with cephalopods this here. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. Are you call me thirsty? It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. Ooh. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Ooh, that was a threat. Was that a threat? Yeah. What did he mean? That, that was, was a fucking a threat. Yeah. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? <laughs> Talk to Detective Pierce. He's got tons of it. Uh, let's see. Nobody mentioned crimes for now. Stay out of this. Let's get the nurse in on this. Hmm. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. Hmm. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mum. Yeah, we're both women. We gotta stick together, right? Don't you dare betray me. You're gonna tell him right now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Do I have the same... Oh, I don't have... I can't look at my um, abilities. I guess I don't have the same ones. Chronic insomnia, like half the island. Yeah, they're all on sleeping pills. Hmm. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Was okay. Calendar. Obey the rule of health. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. So this is good, actually. Talking shit. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Who are you talking and about? I'm me? The one who pays. What a pest. Who's an old hag? It's Elizabeth. 
You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Why go through her? Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Courage, Elizabeth. That's all. That's all I need to say to you. Courage! It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Hmm. You putting together a plot, Dr. Calden? Hmm. The reference book of medical sciences. Uh, didn't give me a medicine point. I guess it doesn't carry over to Pierce, huh? I have little time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay, Mrs. Donovan. I don't want to talk to you anyway. I just, <laughs> I didn't know who you were. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. Oh. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Oh my god, what a snitch! Killer! Game saved! Distract Donovan, cut off the water. Okay. No, we, we figured out what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. What a freaking snitch! The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Okay, I get it. I'll the cut off the water. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Hmm. Prescription for barbiturates. Just like the ones we found in Sarah Hawkins' We're room. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Mmm. I hate Donovan. I've known her for approximately three seconds, but I hate her. What? I don't even know how to pronounce this. The pseudoscientific work by Cesar Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his kernel predispositions. Okay, so it improves our medicine stat. Got it. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Hmm. Um, is that your kneecap I see? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Uh. Can we help? His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh. Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Was that right? Was that... Did that seriously happen? Hay fever. What's he doing here? Oh, he's sneezing a lot, huh? Get you some tissues, buddy, and send you home. Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. I'm looking for the key to the boiler room. Hmm. What for? To put it in its place. Perhaps I should do the same with you. Oh. I beg your pardon? What? I suspect you of having a little too much fun at Elizabeth's expense. But be warned. It could easily be you they will all be laughing at tomorrow. Damn. You are right, Dr. She doesn't the mess around. The key is in the dormitory office in, in Block B. Thank you. I shall go fetch it. Oh, she hates me. <laughs> uh, this woman looks dead. Is that Irene? Mrs. Sanders? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? This file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute as well as the treatments administered to her. 
Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. No! I know what goes on there! I mean, I'm not Irene's biggest fan, but... I'll be damned if I'm gonna let her go down like that. <gasps> Key to the boiler room. Alright. Key to the boiler room. That's why I, I have to just do said. Is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. I just said that, Dr. Colden. Marie, okay? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I'm going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Uh, okay, here he goes. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. Okay. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? I don't know. I don't... Uh... This patient has been mistreated. You think so? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. Mm. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Whoa! Damn, we are like getting on everybody's bad side. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. I'll examine her myself. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words, so we're not budging. Okay. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll go look for her in a second. Oh, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. There she is. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Oh. Cool. So, we don't really need to tend to her. Like we promised. I guess we'll go tell those dudes what happened. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I saw her, she's fine. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. I have a bad feeling about oh, this. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. I got an achievement. The Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> Not oath. Oath. <laughs> oh, that achievement was for healing all patients. I did not know that that's what I was doing. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Let me in there. Oh, this is the Hawkins wing. Interesting. I didn't know it was called that. It's a quiet little town. I didn't ask Days you. Days go by, steady as ever. I don't I remember. I for myself, but... I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Huh? Sit down and shut up, alright? There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. Look at this! <laughs> Happy baby! Diphtheria is deadly. Oh, hey. Bradley. Ethan. Ew. Marie, I... Got my what face. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're a bad liar. Psychology. Master. Medicine. Master. You're not here for treatment. Right? Gotcha. Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. 
I know you worry about me. What's going on I here? I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Okay. Seems like an affliction. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? Perhaps. I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Hmm. Bye, Bradley. Hi. Dr. Colden. That's it, huh? <laughs> okay. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. Yeah, I'm running out of patience right now with you. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay. All right. When are you going to be done, Mousy? Huh? This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Mm, it does not respect standard practice. That's interesting. Very interesting. Because that's me. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Mm. Oh, I I wasn't looking at the keys. <laughs> where would they usually go? Boiler room. Let's go inside. Okay. Let's cough the water. Oh, my strength stat is too low. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Find a tool? Where are we supposed to get a tool? Oh, we can go in here now. Mousy lady's gone. Ooh, spot hidden. Oh, <gasps> Got ourselves a monkey wrench. But wait, is there another one? No, no, okay. Got ourselves a monkey wrench. Let's go, let's go. Let's close that, mm-hmm. Oopsie. Did I do that? <laughs> I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Yeah, sorry, Elizabeth. Oops. Go back to Elizabeth. Distract Donovan. Go back. Okay, wait. We gotta go back to Elizabeth, and then we talk to Donovan. Or we make her talk to Donovan. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. I'm sorry. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. I'm so sorry. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. Courage, Elizabeth. And hold your tongue this time. <laughs> Courage, Elizabeth. I like your freckles, by the way. I know a lot of people that have a lot of freckles don't, they usually don't like having a lot of freckles, but I've always thought it was kind of cool looking. I think it looks nice. I don't have any freckles. Instead, it was cursed at a young age with a lot of acne. <laughs> at last, the missing files must be hidden here. I still get it. I'm like 30 years old, I still get acne sometimes. It's really embarrassing. Uh, it's like I've got really sensitive skin, though. Something is wrong with these masts. Just something that's it's always some happened. Some sort of puzzle. Okay, well we'll come back to the masts. Is there anything for me anywhere? The Stendhal syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Uh, of course. What? 
a particularly rare mental illness. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. Is this real? I'm gonna have to Wikipedia that later. I've unlocked. Oh my god! I did. I, patient files. I did I in like white. two moves. Oh my gosh! It's total luck. I got achievement: the white ship. Sarah Hawkins interview. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psychoanalysis situation or er, sessions he submits Sarah Hawkins to. Uh, cool. But like, what else though? What else though? We're gonna get caught. Conclusions. Session number seventeen. Sarah Are we Hawkins. reconstructing? The patient appears to have finally accepted this finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Okay. Thanks. Got more uh, hidden things to get. There's a shoe in the filing cabinet. I'm not sure what that's about. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Hmm. I don't like this. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Hmm. Okay, so there's a psychological check right there. I'm trying to find spot hidden. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Why is Ethan on medication? I am, am I? Oh wait, no, Ethan Bradley. Not Edward Pierce. Wrong, wrong person. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Huh. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Excuse me? You mean right here? Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. This is... Is this the missing shoe from the fire? That we found earlier? Uh-oh. Are we going to get caught as soon as we get out of the reconstruction scene? I must go back to the basement. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna get in trouble. Oh, I thought this coat rack was her for a second. Oof. To the basement, though. Okay. Where's that? Here? Go down to the psychiatric wing. Here? Okay, I guess we're going. Bye-bye, civilized world. Yeah, this is where I went earlier as Edward. I collapsed in the freaking doorway right here. Right here, I think. There's a blood trail, but there's no doors. That's kind of weird, don't you think? Hi. Ah, 
now. That's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. What? It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. No! Dr. Fuller sucks! I hate this guy. Something's happening to Marie. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eye. It's just Algernon, dude. Turn around. Slowly. He just thinks you're the dude that broke in, Charles. He doesn't know who you are. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! I got four out of five eloquence. You're gonna regret it. Eloquence master? I'm supposed to have Eloquence Master here. Come on. It was Charles Hawkins, though. Unlocked answer. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. Mm -mm. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. Well, how was I supposed to know? What did it show no. you? I, I thought I was a genius for being able to work out the safe combination. Occultism master. That's like max occultism. How would you ever have that at this point in the game? All right, let's talk about Marie Colden. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start. Shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. Mm. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Fine. All right. All right. I got an achievement. I Scholar of the Unspeakable. All. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Thank you, Drake. I don't know. I feel like we can trust this guy. He's just a nerd. Ah. A raven. Pose raven. I also got an achievement caught in the trap. What? Why? Why is it called that? Did I make a bad decision? Did I make a boo-boo? Uh, the book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Dr. Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on if not the body of Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Hmm. Enter madness. Yeah, that's right. We're doing three chapters in this video. Because so far it's been a bunch of reading and talking. And I gotta get a little action in there. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. I was wondering why the, the closet was in here. Okay, let's look around. Ooh. I got it. Diary of the Pastor's Wife. Here's volume one. I was wondering where it was. The Diary of Reverend Wickwood's Wife. Her husband John built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They're among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. An old diary. Sounds like Roanoke or something. Oh, I think I actually got points for doing stuff in Colden's body. <laughs> okay, um... I think I want to level up psychology. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the CP in because apparently... People told me in the comments that it actually, it helps, even if it doesn't level you up. What the... Fuller, too. I got an achievement, the most trivial object. 
Small bottle of sleeping pills, probably used on patients who have trouble sleeping to find slumber. <laughs> yes, that is what sleeping pills are for, Pierce. Brilliant detective work. Did I just get an achievement for finding all of the sleeping pills? Would you read the book? Always. The answer is yes. Achievement unlocked. Complete revelation. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars. Creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmacorical illustrations. Whoa! Did I just level it up? I think I did! Three out of five! Yes! That means I'm a professional in occultism. How very exciting. What's this? How old is Fuller, really? 1849? He looks the same age. And that's the same phenomenon we've seen with Fitzroy. And maybe even Charles Hawkins. Was it the miraculous catch? Is that what it was? All right, let's go. You know we're gonna have to stealth. Wait, it's locked? Okay. I'm sorry, is this the only one right here? Right, enough time wasted. Holden needs me. Oh my god. I must find her. Oh my gosh. I guess we gotta just go down here. No. What? No. Uh. Uh. What? My god. What, what is happening to me? What just happened? Huh? Do we just follow this? That? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Okay, I see. So we don't go in there. What's this? Where's... Huh? Thanks. Medicine and secret sciences. Found this as Dr. Colden, too. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because I can go through this, but everything else is, like, blocked off. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Hmm? Oh, the store is available now. Hmm. The shelves are still empty back here. Uh, well, I mean, I can see a little bit better. The pharmacy's covered in elder signs. Why is that? Nice. Another book I found as Dr. Colden. But now we're just finding it again. Okay, I see. Here, increase brightness. Oh! You can increase your lamp's brightness. What? What? No thanks! You sound so evil! Oh. Okay, so let's switch lamps. Now we can go into the Elder Sign door. And then now I think we switch lamps again. Alright, so now I can go in here. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's my knee. Because <laughs> I'm sitting like a nerd. Ah, I like this Cthulhu game. Okay, that takes me to the bathroom. So I guess I go in there. Okay. We get this. Destiny. It is trapped. So now I switch. Right? 
get it. Hmm. Okay, I hear it. I think we're getting closer. No? He's like freaking out. What's the deal, man? I think we go in here. Yeah. This? So we don't want that thing to see us. Not sure I understand. Right here? You are confronting powers that surpass you. Sure. Okay, this one? Now what? Oh, it's through the wall. But this door is all bricked up. Oh, okay. Elder sign door. Yeah, we're back in the office. I guess we open it. Yeah, because it went through here, didn't it? Okay, so now we gotta go back, switch to the other lamp. And now we can finally follow the trail. I kind of get how this dream sequence goes, but I don't like it. The game's taking a disappointing turn for me right now. The past couple chapters. Okay, nowhere to go. Wait, not here. It's... Ah! Okay. Fun little jump scare. Fun! Here it is. Okay. Get this sign. What now? Now we can go into the basement? It I looks like things are back to normal. I don't understand. What was the point of that sequence? I did not like that. Everything up until then, I was down with. Even the weird chapter where you play as Dr. Colden, I didn't like it, but I was I was okay with it. I wasn't okay with that weird dream sequence. Didn't like that. I don't want to play Layers of Fear again. <laughs> I want to play. I want to play this. Come on. This is where she went, though. What? What? No, come on. The music loops too. Damnation. That's, that's me. In the pad cell? Oh, oh. Uh, oh God. Uh, I gotta get out. Well, I agree. I got, uh, I want to get out too. Run, get out. Who's that? That's Dr. Colden. We found her. What happened to her? Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? <laughs> what's going on? I don't know, Was but it I. Was a hallucination? I don't know, but I hate this. Would you do, Please Fuller? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Oh, she's done, dude. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Oh, my glasses. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. 
Why? Murder! This madness must stop! What? Golden? What? Can't access my stats, so I'm guessing this isn't real. Don't make me do the weird lamp thing again. Oh, he turned back in the painting. Don't tell me that's Sarah Hawkins singing. She's not actually dead. What in God's name? It's her. I didn't. I freaking called it. What did they do to you? Don't do it, dude. We've only got two out of five medicine. Oh, I thought he was pulling out a vial. Yeah, it's Simon's toy. Well, you've gained her trust, I think. I got an achievement. The Curse of Sarah. He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? The green. I'm here, but no. The oil. No. Let's get you out of here. It, it comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. Violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Valid sand requirements? What? Oh, sanity! That's weird, I've never seen that before. So I can go with eloquence. It's like, I can't go with psychology, it's locked out. I wanna know what this is. Like, I would normally go with eloquence, but what is this? I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. Cthulhu will remember copy. that. Discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right, come with me. He will know. 
He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. You painted me. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Weird. What? It was in your studio. What? You painted me. Yeah. That's where you saw me. Yeah. Of course. Wait, hang on. Was there really nothing in here that I could inspect? You mean the guards? Oh no, she's talking. She's talking. I'm missing the conversation. Okay. What the? Oh no. Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. You won't get far. Run, Sarah, run. Run! Okay. Oh, you barred the door. Good job. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. What is... I, I can't tell what she's talking about, to be honest. Okay, let's go. Here's the green, I guess. There's a, there's a weird lever right here, but I can't use it yet. What, do you want me to do this valve? Okay. Can't. Not strong I'd be enough. Better off finding a tool. Okay, I'll look around for one. Oh, here's one. Okay, a poker. What? You're gonna use a poker? No. What are we doing? All right. That should do it. So are we getting rid of the green stuff? It's Charles. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! <laughs> Sorry. You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Oh wow, sexist. Chauvinist pig. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. So, didn't Algernon come with us? Where is he? Didn't we say he should come with us? The occult expert? Edward. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Oh. Get him. Get him, Pierce. I thought he was going to toss us into the fire. What's going on? No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Um. You're incapable of protecting her. For her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. Well, I found her. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? <laughs> Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She hurt you. She's been trapped here for months. She's weak, physically, and mental. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Okay. 
Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. I'm getting will strangled for a long time. Surrender to his power. And the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Apparently the tentacles aren't very good at strangling. Oh! You should have thought about saving yourself, huh? Tentacle man? I mean, is that it? Is he gonna die from that? Shaking her hand. What's going on? Was he just holding her hand one last time, or? They really loved each other. Oh, how sweet, relationship goals. These two are goals, fam. <laughs> Don't tell me that's the end of chapter nine. That's the end of the chapter. No, no. That's not the end of chapter nine. We're back at the Hawkins mansion. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. It, what happened to Dr. Fuller? It was unclear. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife had revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. We all know what the myth is. Cthulhu. He's watching everything, and he's remembering all of it. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Enter the madness. Yeah, looking at your own grave, huh? No parent should have to bury their child. Oh, you're looking at Simon's. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. So you painted Charles. You painted things me. Charles should never have seen. You painted the Shambler. What am I to you? I took care of you. This is the fire. Saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. Yeah, you're a great man. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. What a great man. You'll never find one better than him. Oh, 
That's him running out of the room. He was on fire. But the portrait in the room was saved. Did she choose the painting over her son? Unable to save both? Who's this? Oh no, she passed out. Oh, that's the caretaker. So he saved Sarah. But the painting was in the same room. We found that in the reconstruction scene. I don't know. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Like, I thought, in my head, I thought that Charles ran out with the painting and left them both to die. Oh, what's going on here? It's, <laughs> it's the mouth of Cthulhu. Well, Algernon, weren't you supposed to go with me, Algernon? Thanks a lot for your freaking help. I hate Algernon. Okay. We got, uh... Yeah. There we go. We got four out of five psychology. I'll take that. Oh, and I've got two more CP. What do we want to upgrade? I think spot hidden, probably. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Professional on both. Yeah, I'll put him in spot hidden because, you know, I'm a little disappointed though because I found fewer and fewer spot hiddens. I guess it's a better skill in the early game than it is in the late game. Which is kind of annoying, but... going in here was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth we can reconstruct here hmm I wonder if I should talk to them first or if I should reconstruct first let's reconstruct I know the main objective is to question Sarah Hawkins but I want to kind of go off and do my own thing though so what's all this? What kind of ritual was she preparing? I wish I knew. Hmm. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? That would be crazy if it was. Don't look at it! Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. Yeah, she didn't, did she? She was trying to send back the ship. Right, it was a revocation. Yeah. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. You might be being a little too optimistic with that. Hmm. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Okay, I guess we'll leave the res uh, reconstruction scene. So he came in and, and did what? Uh, we can go down here. Why? Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But, at least I didn't dream it. I guess that's good to confirm. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. Just exploring the house. I guess I'll talk to them Mr. now. Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Yeah, I had to do a good. little reconstruction Sarah scene. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon... I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Okay. Then go. <laughs> Bye. 
Hi. Let's wait till he's gone. This doesn't look like Charles Hawkins' office. But whatever, I guess you're far enough away. Let's close the doors. Okay, let's just talk. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. Because you I don't can have still that... hear the voice calling me. You don't have that it oil. It's so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Wow, there's a lot here. There's a cult on Darkwater. Charles Hawkins is dead. She knows that. <laughs> she knows that. <laughs> she was there. You and Drake are up to something. There's so many good options here. Let's go with the unlocked one. You've been friends for a long time. Mm. Hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. No. I owe you no obedience. Whoa. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. What's going on here? I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Valid sanity requirements. This is always going to be the most interesting one to me. Let's do it. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right, I'll help you. <laughs> Gonna tattoo the elder sign all over her body. Wait, I still wanna talk. Oh, there were so many good dialogue options there and I only got to see one of them. Hi, Algernon. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. Okay. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. Ooh. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could. Could. <laughs> we are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Oh, Feel I solved your safe puzzle. question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. I, you said I was a genius. Oh yeah, how about this? Let's just, how about this nonsense? What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. Uh-huh. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Hmm. He sold the dagger to Sanders. A dimensional shambler? This creature, the shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Just burn the painting. Am I missing something? Is there some reason we can't do that? The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? 
If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. I doubt Allow he me knew. To send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. No, we, we're all on the same page, Pierce. <laughs> he must have a plan to get rid of it. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature. What yet. a suck up. I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. Mm. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. What do you think I'm going to steal it? Come on. Sketch of a bust. I did see this. I did see this. This isn't it. Where did I see this? Here it is. What? Did you just pull that out of its ear? The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by... Concealed Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? Huh? Sketch of a still. Okay. This is kind of neat. Like, looking for stuff I've already seen. Oh, hey, it's this. Yeah. The box. Do we have a strength test? Oh, that's it. We got this the amulet. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. This amulet is engraved with the Elder Sign. Drake calls it the key of. Ugh. He firmly believes that this artifact is of great power. What? I got an achievement. The Amulet of the Ancients. Cool. Hey, spot hidden. <laughs> I don't know why we're just still doing this, but that's where I'll put the point. Show the amulet to Drake. I think not. Oh, I can't leave. I thought maybe I could. All right, fine. I'll go show it to him. Hey, Drake, I found it. Here it is. Ah, uh, it's you again. Yeah, I found what you were looking for. I come, I come bearing good news. I think I found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Night. I got a CP for doing nothing just now. Okay. There we go. All right, let's go back. Hi. Hey, Sarah, guess what? Oh, there you are. Ready to go, I see. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes. What? Jack West is here with Sullivan. Who? Why are you? Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I guess we're buds now. Chief West, huh? 
Are we going to get arrested? We're going to get thrown in prison. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Oh my god. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. He looks like a fucking nice puppet. Job, Chief. You got me. Great like, police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. He looks like a ventriloquist dummy. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? What? I wasn't even I don't here. Care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. We base our investigations on facts and testimonies. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to prison. This game's really losing me. I hate to say it. I was with it all the way through, like, the bookstore. And then just, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of, it's losing its way. I'm hoping it finds it again. Maybe this is just kind of a mid-game lull. Anyway, chapter 10, Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that's supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins before Pierce could stop her. He was arrested by the police. Enter madness! Let's see what we're going to be doing in the next video. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Insulting behavior? Truth comes at a cost. I'm unrepentant. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You are being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Huh. Fuller isn't as innocent as he looks. We got investigation expert. Let's go. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. So you're going to torture me? I have me. no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Oh, torture isn't a crime, I suppose. Look how this dude walks. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. What, you've talked to me before. Who's there? <laughs> What's going on? Cool.
I am the one men name Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. And you got a big, big old brain. We get it. Which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. <laughs> struggle! <laughs> Try to speak. Submit. Valid sand requirements for submit. Let's submit. Excellent. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to access the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. I am? This is an offer that the likes of you Particularly those with such rare characteristics. Oh, thanks. Cannot refuse. Thanks for the compliment. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Uh, accept the knowledge, refuse the knowledge. This is a big choice. I don't, I don't really know what I'm like signing up for if I accept it. All right, guys. Well, this has been, this has been a video, hasn't it? So I hate to, I got to cut it off somewhere. They're not really giving me a good stopping point in my opinion. So I'll just, I'll just stop here. I need to think about this, except to refuse knowledge. It's a big freaking deal. Gotta give it a little thought. But uh, we'll continue this in the next video. I was uh, displeased by some of the things we saw in this one. But I'm still enjoying the game overall. I'm hoping it kind of finds its way back to what it was doing earlier in the first six chapters. Because I really liked that. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game and the recent developments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.